Hey friends, it's Christina with Yitro's Family Farm. Today I'm just doing a short tutorial on how to make quail feather earrings. We raise Caternix quail here at our farm and we like to use all pieces of the quail as much as possible. Today I'll show you how to do this. I have a pair on. They vary lightweight and they're very easy to make. If you don't want to make them, we offer them on our website. They ship free with any order of hatching eggs. Um, I'll include a product list at the end for you. You should be able to find it on Amazon or any hobby or craft store that's nearby if you don't want to order online. I hope you enjoy this little tutorial and you learn how to make something new with all the pieces of the birds that you raise. So this is everything that I use. You don't need fancy jewelry making tools. If you have them, great. If you don't, that's okay too. You probably have something around your house that'll work just fine. I'm going to be using a kid scissor. That's what I'm going to push in the backs. I have a knife to cut and trim feathers after we have them in there. We're going to be using a toothpick for our glue because you need very little glue. And this is the glue I'm going to use. Um, you can probably just use super glue just as well. But I'm going to use a dot of this. This is the pieces that are actually going to hold your feathers. I will include the name because right now I'm not exactly sure what they are called. The earring backs. Now when you purchase these off of Amazon, they're going to come in multi-packs with different colors. This is just what I had available, so I grabbed it. And you're going to need your quail feathers. That one, well, you know where to get those. Um, some people like to wash them. I'll usually just go ahead and lightly spray with Lysol to kill any maybe remaining germs. But when we have butcher days, I normally just um, save the feathers so they're sitting around for a couple weeks anyway before I make more earrings. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go through and you're gonna find your best ones. I'm gonna make a bigger pair today, something that's not so small. You're gonna wanna shape them up just a little bit. I'm gonna move these bowls. I just have everything on a cutting board so you can see. And then I need to find another similar set. Cause you want your earrings to match. They don't have to, but I prefer. And I do like, if at all possible, to find feathers that go in the same direction. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and we'll do these. That'll be an easy pair. Here you have your feathers. Now what I do is I pull up a little bit of this area. But we're not going to worry too much about making it perfect. We just want to clean up. So that gives us something to work with that's a little bit cleaner than what we had before. And then we'll move around. I use my finger. I use my fingers as my tools most of the time. But you know those pliers would work to help you out. All right, and before, all right, I had to open up the glue. I have these little pieces here. You want to lay those on a flat surface because that'll make it much easier for you to work with. You need to take your toothpick and put a little bit of glue on it, not much. And you just want to dab it on there. I know it's, you can't even see the tiny dot that I made, but that's okay. You don't want it to end up being messy. Then you lay your feathers down like this. Like I said, I'm going to use a pair of kid scissors. So if you have jewelry making tools, more power to you. And you're just going to bend these down. You can get them started with your fingers if you need to. And 
And I just like to use a flat surface and press on it. That way we know that it's closed in there good. And then of course you are going to need to come back and fluff and put them however you want them. Now you're going to see they have some of the feather shaft poking out here. You can just go ahead with an X-Acto knife or I think this might be Aaron's work pocket knife that he left him. And you can just trim those off. And if you have anything in this area, now you can probably also, if you wanted to, you could add beads or charms or whatever else, but this is just a very simple tutorial on how to do it. We're not going to add anything to this. And then you have your earring hook. This is just going to go in here. And you need to squeeze it to shut it. And there's your earring. Very simple. Let's see if I can make the second one and try to not be quite as awkward. <laughs> what I like to do is I like to kind of compare and make sure that we are about the same length. They are feathers, so they are not going to be perfectly matching. And listen, they're not all going to come out perfect. And that's okay. That's my usual philosophy. Is that's okay. I'm going to put my dot of glue. You can adjust your feathers while they're in here before you finish closing them up. All that does is it just closes the back. You want to make sure that it is squeezed tightly that way your feathers don't come out but you also want to be sure not to damage the front. this pointing down so it's a little bit hard to see you can see my good garden fingers don't mind those <laughs> I used to do my nails often um, years ago but that's not a thing anymore for me I think I just am too rough and I'm in the dirt too much all right That's it. Very easy. Once you get the hang of it, they're very quick to make. And here are some that are packaged when we go to craft shows and sales this is how we bring them Aaron has made me a stand to put them on and 
And I think sometimes we don't appreciate how beautiful quail feathers are. But when you get up close and personal and you look at them, you'll see that there's beauty in all the little things. All right, friends, I hope that tutorial was easy to follow and easy to understand. You can find us on all forms of social media at Kitros Family Farm, and our website is kitrosfamilyfarm.com. I will try to link the materials below, and if you haven't yet, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. We would love to have 300 followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call them before the end of the year, and we're getting pretty close. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.